Greg and I were talking over breakfast about how there's like a we call it, kind of call it we call it sort of the, the drummer's bible, but it sort of like starts with things like stick control by George Warren Stone and syncopation by Ted Reed and advanced techniques for the modern drummer by Jim Chapin. Those three books are what are the foundation of all drumming. It doesn't matter what you want to pursue with music as a drummer, you got to go to those three books because they are the foundation. And you know that if you want to build a huge building, you can't do it unless your foundation is deep and wide, right? If you try to build a skyscraper on a small foundation, it'll crack. So we were looking at that like, okay, after those dudes, we get guys like Buddy Rich, Tony Williams, Billy Powell, like all the drummers you can name, they're stylists, they're artists, you know, mm -hmm. but they all have their roots in the basic movements yeah, first. And they built because they've been built on right, right. So I see kind of like what Greg's done back in, since 1988 when he started doing this thing for musicians, and then later on for health reasons. Um, that, that, that sort of like laid the, the rudiments, the first principles of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the artists come along like yourself and was Tiny and Tiny the other guys that we talked about, the, like Galaxy commercial. Oh yeah, like j Yeah, jazz. They, they become yeah. artists. And so it's kind of cool to see what's happening. I think like, because I'm not a practitioner, I'm not an artist, I'm not any of it. I'm Still just like kind of, but I see for me, yeah, this is, because from the drums, this is the first lever. First is the stick, but then this is the first lever that comes in contact with the stick. Mm -hmm. for, for a drummer, just like for an artist, a good stick is one that you're not even aware of. If you're aware of the stick, it's a bad stick, just like a painter. Mm -hmm. An artist is sitting there painting on a canvas, if he's aware of that paintbrush, yeah, it's, it's not a good paint stick. too much. And right. it has to kind of become like an extension of yourself, yeah. right? And so I see the lights, uh, all the balls and the things that you're messing with, even at the twirling of fiddle ankle. These are all just extensions of the hand, right? Mm -hmm. All these, but it all starts here. This is the main one. Um, and if you, you can get to the point where you're no longer aware of that ball. Like you were trying to make me figure that out the other day. Different exercise. I noticed that as soon as I start thinking about it, I'm gonna drop it. Yeah. But it, as soon it keeps as you I very just, present. Yeah, I just kind of have to like almost let it do its thing, you know. But I'm not a dude, so I'm not a practitioner. I'm not a finger dude, you know, I'm not injured in this. What is the appeal? But that's like, why would people gravitate? Why do they want to watch a video of you guys doing this? So what, what is the appeal outside of that community? Where you, outside where you of the community? I feel the appeal is the fact that anyone is capable of doing it, you know. It's an extension of yourself, but it's part of yourself. Like, unlike most other hobbies, you can literally put them down. You can't put your hands down, you know, your hands are part of you. And it's just a way to express, and it's like an entry point into the full dance world, mm -hmm. right? And it's unique in the sense it's because, because gloving, it's not just a dance. It's not just a rave thing. It, it, it's almost like a magician. That thing. was my, yeah. See, my association with the a, gloving. This is a rave, was, I don't, uh, yeah, it's a big stick, because that's where its roots are, you know? That's like saying, like, guitars are only known for country and rock. Well, no, not necessarily. Yeah, we talked about earlier, saxophones. Right, like that. Like you that. more than a polka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it's all about, you know, there's roots and things, but things grow and they expand and they, collaborate with other things and I think we're at that point because gloving hasn't been around that long it's been around for like maybe 2008 I, 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 2007 mm -hmm. of like video footage but still really narrowing down what the terms or what any of it's called um, I would say now that we're finally in those times of okay we have a book out we have clear definitions and a vocabulary you now now it's just about okay Let's set objectives and standards of things, and you know, messing with other arts that haven't been like again. Like I'm trying to get out of the rave scene and get it into like hip hop, get it into rock, get into classical, and just seeing those different realms and how the, these moves can react with it. Because it's also like a magician that and sliding yeah, hand. Really cool. yeah. It's also 
um, a mime act. Um, you can even be you know, like an actor too, because there's a lot of. It's also a personal thing, because unlike other arts that are usually like big on like on stage, gloving is more for a one-on-one -on -one thing experience.